Hello my soccer universe to another story time. My hair is taking a distinct 70s look, so let's look into a few stories. I thought I will do this once a month, yeah, the last time was end of March and now we're already uh, May, so as, as it goes. But I thought nasty weather outside, let's have some nice stories inside of here. I want to start out with the recent acquisition of all these five uh, jerseys that I'm gonna show you and this is this Lusk home jersey and there's not too much of a personal story except that I was at the debut at the stadium when Lusk played in the Champions League playoffs in for the 2019-20 season against Club Bruges and of course the normal Lusk jersey has a lot of sponsors so they had to come out with a much nicer design and many people said i mean i'm was not fond that they were wearing in all white i think white with a black would be better but i really like the pinstripe look it is still black and white um but the big story here is that that's the was source of our tell lask is self-producing the jerseys and we had two main sponsors if there is the main jersey basically a pink sleeves because of BWT, Best Water Technology. So you had the main sponsor and UEFA allows only then a secondary logo for the manufacturing. Solution, make them the manufacturer. And since then, they are a manufacturer, a water, a, a, a company that sells uh, magnesium, uh, you know, solutions to uh, clear for water filters that add magnesium. Rather, rather weird, but an interesting story. It's a nice jersey. I have it with number 27 and to remember this Champions League playoff I got the Champions League patches here which funnily enough uh, when the Champions League playoff came this jersey was not yet on sale because they only sold the, uh, the black and the pink one uh, I guess they wanted to uh, sell more or more but new when this one comes out I, I will get it because last with the Champions League star ball and it was only for two matches and they lost both but still this is such a big occasion that i needed to get that one so yeah jersey story number one jersey story number two is with this dutch 2012 away jersey i have the 2014 home jersey um for the 2014 world cup i think nike produced the two best jerseys in there this was the france uh home jersey which unfortunately I do, uh, do not have, and this was this Netherlands home jersey. And before the World Cup, I only got the Brazil one, and then the Argentina one, because I really could find it cheap in Bulgaria. And I still regret in Bulgaria, you know, at the uh, uh, Adidas store, they were selling those uh, jerseys for um, more or less half price. So the Euro price was the lever price and there's a two to one uh, exchange rate. In the Nike store, they didn't have it. And I remember they had the nice jacket and they had the away jersey, which at the moment I really, really would like to have, but it's really hard to get. But I have to say, this is my favorite Dutch jersey. And um, unlike me and Italy jerseys, where I have plenty of, uh, meanwhile, Dutch jerseys are unequal. It took me a long time to get Dutch jerseys. Uh, for whatever reason, either I did not like them, I have had to say with Nike, it was always hit and miss. There were some that I really liked. There were some that I didn't like all that much. I think all the ones that I like are valuable to me. I mean well have, except for maybe this uh, two away jerseys for 2006 and 2014. Uh, 98 away jersey was also really nice. And the 97 was probably the pick of the bunch. In any case, the story behind this one is, I was going back and forth, I really want to have this dress, especially when the Netherlands uh, did well. And we were always kind of, you know, a little bit tight on, on our budget. And then uh, we, my wife kind of hurts her, 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 you know, if you really want something, you should send a message that you deserve it next day uh, on, the, on the same evening the Dutch beat Mexico and I went on the next day to buy this beautiful jersey and that was probably the really the start that my wife was fully fully I felt the full support of her uh, behind my soccer jersey collection and I mean that lion is just so beautiful unfortunately I think there have been hardly any jerseys ever since this lion was released Maybe the women's jersey, where I feel uh, that the lion crest really lives up to the overall jersey design. Uh, that's maybe the 
not so nice part about it but uh this the, the detailing on this one is so uh wonderful i have to do it a little bit on the side here uh, it's a great jersey yes i would like to have a few more flag details ideally but that's a whole different story it's it's my favorite Dutch jersey now clubs again and we're gonna go to england to this chelsea jersey i think it's the 99 2001 home jersey which came to me as a teeny little surprise and the story behind that is i want to say it was 2000 august um my aunt and i i usually have been traveling a lot i think in 2000 we were in france and so she decided that in august for a second trip of hers she will take my two brothers to scotland and as part of the trip they also visited them on the way back london and I remember suddenly getting a call from my older brother, you know, um, which Chelsea player do you actually uh, do you like? Because at that time, Chelsea was clearly my favorite team in England. They were uh, the sexy team, the one that played great, uh, won okay, occasionally, but had a lot of Italian players. And, and so, so, so it was for me uh, the team. Turns out they were staying very close to Stanford Bridge. He went to the, to, to the store and as a souvenir, he wanted to buy me a Chelsea jersey, this Chelsea's jersey. And, of course, I said 25 Zola. And so this came into my possession. This was the time when me and my brother, we uh, gifted each other soccer jerseys. I have to say I'm really fond of this one. The design is maybe a bit plain and I, you know, all this striping that's in there doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. However, it is very sturdy. This is a very nice thick material that I, re I really, really like. I especially am I'm really happy with the Umbro diamonds here. And uh, coincidentally, this jersey has been twice worn at Stamford Bridge. So for me, uh, I had this thing, which I don't have, have, have no, a, a jersey is sort of um, a legit jersey when it has been worn to a home game of that team. This one was twice. My brother actually had the chance to watch, my two brothers watched actually Chelsea um, play a Champions League qualification game and I want to say it was a Latvian team, uh, some, some, something like, 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 like that and he just acquired the jersey and wore uh, it to that game and then two years later I went with my friends to London, uh, that was already for a second time. And we got tickets for Chelsea versus Newcastle. It was a 3-0 win for Chelsea with Zola, I think. Scored at least one nice free kick and I had this jersey on. So, another story. So, this is a so-called legit jersey. Uh, I've worn it at Stamford Bridge. It was a little bit weird though. Because um, Lusk, my team, is black and white stripes. And the big rival used to be, I mean, that's a whole other, other story. Used, used to be playing in blue. With white pants so me wearing a blue jersey against a black and white team uh, my other friend was not too happy about it but you know Chelsea at least was my team I still am rooting a teeny bit for Chelsea um, another jersey around this time and maybe I did not go it entirely chrono chronologically but I wanted to alternate club and uh, come and national team jerseys is this beautiful beautiful France 2000 uh, Euro 2000 jersey that they also wore in 2001 when they won the Confederations Cup. Um, the story behind this one is rather simple. This was the first time that I ordered online from a foreign country and spoiler alert I was studying French for about six years so my, at that moment I think I had just finished my French. My, my French was pretty good I have to say. Uh, meanwhile, it took a nose dive because if you don't use it, you lose it. Although, if, you want, if I want to buy jerseys, I can pull out my French a whole lot. And this was the first one where I ordered from a foreign language. And I think, did I get a catalog or did I find it on the internet? I know it was in 2000. And I badly wanted to have a Zidane jer uh, jersey. And I don't know now the, the exact details, but I found this on a French page. Um, and I found it with Zidane on the back and I ordered it and I think I got the, I got him the, cat, the catalog I don't know how I got, got to this but I was so proud that I got this one 
Um, I was wearing this a lot and unfortunately I didn't know how to take care of the number so it's a little bit damaged here. I know this, I know meanwhile this can be fixed by probably taking another print, take, taking it off, taking another print over it and so on. I just didn't have yet the time uh, to do it but you know I basically uh, putting some color over here would be what I would like to go for but we have to see. I am barely wearing this jersey and anymore it's hanging right behind here as one of my how to say yeah probably one one of my favorite jerseys this is to me a quintessential france jersey i think as i said i've been wearing it a lot uh, meanwhile i go for other france jerseys but this is probably i really like the color here with a little bit of french flag uh then the detail uh, this was adidas imperfection when they had the french flag within the three stripes the only weird thing is maybe uh that the top of the sleeves is a little bit cut in uh but yeah this this was a good euros uh i have to say i felt sorry for the italians but then uh this euros i still think this is the best tournament that i've ever ever, ever seen um and france was a worthy worthy champion champion although in the final i think italy would have deserved a little bit more but given that it was such an offensive tournament france was the rightful winner overall but uh yeah i have that and i have the jersey so quite happy about that one and the last jersey is my number two. It's this Milan 1991 jersey. Now, the story here is uh, this I also got from my aunt. I got big into Milan due to my classmates really liking Milan. Who could not like the Milan of Hewlett and from Boston? I, and that was right when I got into soccer. That was, yeah, I, I really got into it during the 90 World, uh, World, World Cup and then it was clear Lusk, it's my, the team of my hometown and it was also my father, father's team, although at the time we had two Lusk team, two uh, teams in Linz still. And my father has to be given a lot, a lot, a lot of care, although he was a Lusk fan, he took us initially to both teams, but then we decided rather quick, quickly on Lusk ourselves. Although they were not the better <laughs> at the very beginning. But it was Milan. Uh, and I remember watching the European Cup final in 1990 in Vienna. Uh, and at that time I knew it was Milan. And they played, they played in white. But um, I know I got so obsessed with it. Uh, with all the big players and so on. That I had to get a Milan jersey. And I, I remember even my friend. And this was kind of... Uh, he, he was this big Milan. He got me in, 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 into it. And he... And I, I remember once asking over a walking time, do you know, I have to ask you one thing. I saw Milan play in white, but what are their real colors? And I say, it's the most beautiful jersey. It's black and red stripes. That moment I knew I had this Italy jersey. I need to get a Milan jersey as well. Unfortunately, my aunt was not very happy with that color scheme. And she was very instrumental. Maybe that's the reason why I'd never get a, a Netherlands jersey at first, because she really thinks my hair color and orange don't fit. <laughs> But I ground her down to get this jersey. Um, it was sold at a local sports store. Now, this is not the... How, how, how to say it? It is an Adidas one. But uh, the interesting part of is that if you get uh, the jersey, um, this is basically a cheaper version. This is a flock material where they took um, this trefoil. This is my only trefoil. It is basically a flock material here. The same thing goes here. The original is kind of still... I want to say the, the more high-end high end version is kind of stitched on. But at that time, I remember they were selling either the uh, Adidas uh, originals, um, the Adidas cheaper versions in the sports stores, because I, I remember even for the Germany jersey, although I would never even touch that one at the time, um, they, uh, they had the two versions kind of out there and I was always wondering until I recently realized why there were two different versions. For Milan they only had this version and they badly, badly wanted one. So I got that one and I wore this one a whole lot. It has pulled the, the also one that is a little bit retired. It's also a little bit small because this is only a large and it doesn't really fit me that well anymore. But to me, quintessential Milan, Mediolanum sponsor. Uh, Mediolanum sponsor. The, they had the Champions League trophy up there, the star, it's wonderful. And the, to finish my thought, they were selling either these or they were selling cheaper replicas, uh, f you know, from Austrian companies who kind of um, made it, 
how how to say copied it very very well uh but they didn't but didn't put the uh, adidas logo but yes this is an adidas but it is of course not the best version out there but still i have at least one and this is my personal number two probably still my second favorite jersey because this is just quintessential milan to me although at that time they did not win a title then in that season but it was still the great milan team so yeah those are the stories for today let, let me know which ones of those you liked which ones you can relate to give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and see more and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that i wish you a wonderful day bye